Gary Edwards, executive chef and co-owner of Fire and Ice on Topi Creek, created a fall dish that fits perfectly with seasonal ingredients. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorites, uh, a fall risotto dish. Uh, we're going to caramelize some pumpkin and some butternut squash, and we're going to incorporate that with some really creamy, yummy risotto made with fresh, heavy cream. Uh, we're going to be topping that with some dried fruit and some nuts. I'm going to top our risotto dish with seared scallops today. Basically, this is a basic risotto dish, and uh, you could do a lot of different things. Uh, you could put uh, chicken on here, scallops, shrimp. Basically, what you're looking for is a neutral flavor to go with the risotto. These are uh, dry sea scallops. Everything gets salt and pepper. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're cooking fish is just kind of leave it alone. Let the uh, protein start to coagulate. Uh, a lot of times people, uh, you know, they make a mistake and they put fish in the pan and they start moving around and it breaks up. Um, best stuff, just leave it alone. While I'm cooking here, there's a, you know, thing that they teach in culinary school called mise en place. Just to have all your ingredients ready and that's part of my mise en place right now, having my pan hot. Uh, while my pan is getting hot, I'm going to just slightly warm it up. I'm not going to let it get too hot, but I'm going to start cutting up my onion for the demonstration. I'm going to start, start off with a little bit of olive oil. This is to make the risotto. Yeah. The arborio rice is a short grain sticky rice. Uh, it's an Italian rice and uh, it's meant to be creamy and uh, you know uh, rich. Just to add the rice. And we are going to cook the rice in the oil and that's going to provide a nutty flavor to the rice. It's going to you know bring out and change the flavor of the rice. If you skip this step, your rice won't be quite as good. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, liquid in stages. I'm going to sweat the rice out. And when it's done, it's done. The first stage of liquid we're going to add is a nice crisp white wine. The rice has absorbed the first amount of liquid. We're going to add a little bit of vegetable stock. So I guess maybe a key to risotto is maybe patience, would Yes, you say? absolutely. It's going to take at least 20 minutes for this to cook. At this point, we're adding our butternut squash. Nice fall flavor in there. Absolutely. This is my favorite time of year. I I get really excited at the fall time and uh, there's so many wonderful flavors and the change of the seasoning I find very refreshing. And some of our roasted pumpkin. Again, these are both the nice uh, squashes that uh, they, they do very well picking up different flavors. Pumpkin is going to kind of cook down in there. Now I use fresh roasted pumpkin, you can easily substitute and use canned pumpkin from the supermarket shelf. Mm -hmm. Just adding a little bit more vegetable stock there. Absolutely. Our risotto is asking for some heavy cream. Uh, we're going to finish it with some heavy cream, it's going to add a nice richness. Uh, this is fresh cream from Hillside Farms. Uh, big uh, believer of supporting local uh, community, local farmers. And, uh, you know, it's not just about, uh, you know, the local, the quality is really certainly there. Look how thick and rich that cream is. A little bit of sea salt in there. Not too much. We don't want this dish to be salty. But we just want to use the salt to bring up some of the flavors of the squash. Chef, what are we going to start on here? Well, now we're going to finish our risotto and we're going to top it with some, uh, some dates, some dried cranberries, and some golden raisins. And then we're going to finish that off with uh, some eggplant, um, top it off with a little bit of almonds. We're going to add a little bit of savory flavor by putting some roasted eggplant in there. A little bit of cognac. Ooh. Some dried fruits. Whatever you have. These are California dates, they're special. Some 
freeze and dried fruit. I'm going to let them rehydrate just a little bit. Stop. We're going to use a little bit of maple syrup there. Just to kind of sweeten this up a little bit. Fresh parsley. This fall, if you have a get together and you serve your guests this, you are going to be popular. Cranberries on there. Finally, are beautifully, wonderfully seared scallops. And we can't forget our silver almonds. And this is a dish that you can easily prepare at home. It's a wonderful fall favorite of mine. Pumpkin risotto with butternut squash and scallops. Chef Gary said this dish can easily become a vegan dish by using olive oil, substituting almond milk for heavy cream, and eliminating the scallops.